Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this video, I will be discussing all about IPA. So IPA stands for Iron Doctorate Assessment, and it is part of your TCS Explorer program. So in this particular video, I will be discussing everything about IPA in detail. So the points that I will be discussing is what is IPA, what are the advantages of IPA, pattern of IPA, and how this pattern has changed this year as compared to last year, and how you have to prepare for the IPA. So all these things I will be discussing in detail. So make sure that you are not skipping any part of this video. And guys, if you will visit our channel, there is lot of information about TCS that is available on our channel. So I am continuously making videos for different different process of TCS. If you will see from past month, I was making the interview experiences. Then I started making the onboarding uh, detail videos like what are the documents required. Next, I have started making the videos about Explore program also of TCS. Okay, so make sure that you are uh, hitting the subscribe button for this channel because many of you have many queries and I resolve tend to resolve those queries by making separate videos. Okay, on that. Okay, and guys, if you have not joined our Telegram group for discussion for TCS in courses, Tech Mahindra Mind Free, that is for 2024 batch, then do join it. Lot of discussions are happening in this group. Many people clear their doubt here. Okay, so the link of this group I will give in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to join this Telegram group because once you join this group, many of your queries regarding different different companies will be cleared there because it's not possible for me to make all the videos. So I tend to clear your doubts here only. Okay, the link of this Telegram group I will give you in the description box. Make sure to join it. Okay, first thing is to join this group. Okay, so now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button because it gives us immense pleasure and immense motivation for making such videos. So now let's start the video. Okay, so guys, first question is what is IPA? So IPA, I have already told IPA stands for Ion Proctored Assessment. Okay, this is an exam. Okay, and this is part of your TCS Explore program. TCS Explore program. So this IPA is part of TCS Explore program. Ion Proctored Assessment. This is offline. It is not online. You have to go to physical centers of ION and give this exam. Okay. Now, yesterday many of you got the TCS Explore mail that okay, your TCS Explore program is starting. I had made a video for the same also. Okay. So this IPA is part of that. So what will happen? So your TC in TCS Explore, there will be certain courses that will be given to you. Now these courses can be of Java also. These courses will, will contain SQL also. These courses will contain business business skills also. So there are different different courses as a part of TCS Explore that will be given to you. Now once you start doing those courses, simultaneously what TCS will do, it will organize IPA for you. IPA is the exam. Okay. So from these courses you will start preparing and simultaneously TCS will start uh, uh, conducting these IPA exams. Okay. So around you can expect that around after 15 to 20 days you will get a notification about this IPA exam. So then you can register for the IPA exam and then go and give it. This is as simple as that. Okay. Currently some courses once you log into TCS Explore uh, platform there will be certain courses that will be given to you and once you start doing those courses after around 15 to 20 days TCS will start notifying you about the IPA and you can go and register for yourself. Okay, now that now we have discussed what is IPA. Okay, now what are the advantages of IPA? So first of all, IPA is of 100, 100 marks. Okay, and in from this 100 marks, if you achieve 80 plus, if you achieve 80 plus marks in the IPA, then there are certain benefits to you. Now guys, the benefits that I will be discussing for IPA, these, these are like, these, these were very beneficial till last year. I will also discuss that what has changed this year, but the uh, benefits were very different till last year and there are a lot of big changes this year. So first of all, last year, if you have got 80 plus in the IPA, so you would have got the joining bonus of 60k, okay, till last year. Second advantage was till last year that it was early joining early joining you would have got if you have got 80 plus in IPA. Third thing was your location preference. Okay. 
now i am going to tell you that why these three all these three advantages are no longer advantages this year first of all there is no such joining bonus of 60k this year okay so earlier the explore program incentive was mentioned in the offer letter itself but this time there was no incentive mentioned in the offer letter so tcs has scrapped this joining bonus of 60k for 2024 batch even if you score 80 plus in the ipa then also you won't be getting any bonus or incentive this year next thing is that early joining so guys early joining so if you know that tcs has already started sending the joining mails for the off campus students so currently what is happening if you uh, there were some cases that on 23rd of july you got uh, you got your offer letter okay and 1st of august is your joining so then you will ask sir what is the use of ipa because ipa's advantage was to give early joining now people from off campus they have not given any ipa they have just accepted the offer letter and in some cases their joining is on 1st august only of 2024 so this is also not the benefit that i can tell you this year okay and location preference also so those who have got joining on this 1st of august and accepting the offer letter on 23rd of july they have also got their first location preference only that if you have selected for kolkata you have got kolkata if you have selected for delhi you have got delhi so this is also not an advantage anymore of this ipa so earlier when i gave the ipa in 2021 so there were a lot of advantages like joining bonus was also there the joining dates were also defined by the score of ipa the location preference was also given based on the ip only but this year lot of things has changed now this year TCS is fast forwarding everything but they like they have delayed in results I, I know but what they have done they are fast forwarding everything now if they will conduct IPA so see again I am telling you these are some cases see these are some cases that okay on 23rd July you have received the offer letter and on the 1st August you have received the joining these are some cases but in some cases the difference of time between offer letter generation and joining letter generation can be of two to three months okay so in this in this scenario pieces won't allow you to sit idle so what they will do they will definitely organize ipas and in if they organize ipa so in this case once there is a difference of more than more months then these two are the advantages as of now that you can get early joining so if let's suppose you had to get the joining by default on November, in November. So after giving IP and getting 80 plus you can get in uh, September also. So this can be the advantage for you. But many of some candidates got the joining letter just after one week only. And some will be getting two or three months later because everything happens in phases in TCS. Because around 12 to 13 thousand students are getting hired. So they cannot onboard all the students in one day. Okay. Early joining also. Uh, is still an advantage of this IPA and location preference is also still an advantage in IPA. So don't like demotivate yourself that sir okay there is no such use of IPA. I understand that for some students there won't be any use for IPA but for some students this IPA is an important exam. Okay, Joining bonus is not there. Um, let me clear that I have confirmed from on campus students also joining bonus in IPA this year is not there. I hope this is clear to you what is IPA and what are the so called advantages of IPA. Now let's just move towards the next uh, thing that is very important the pattern of IPA and how to prepare for the IPA. So pattern of IPA. So IPA is a 100 marks uh, exam. So 50, uh, 50 marks are the MCQs, 50 marks are the MCQs and 50 marks are the coding question. And in this pattern also there are changes for 2024 batch. So this year only Java is there. Okay, I have confirmed this also from an on-campus guy who has given the IP and who has got the joining letter. I have confirmed this also. So earlier Python was also there as a part of IPA. But this year, if you will log in into Explore, your Explore program, you will see that there is no Python option there. There are only Java assessment, Java related materials there. So this year Python is not there, only Java is there. Okay, now what is the pattern of IPA? So there will be MCQs of 50 marks and coding questions, two coding questions will be there. First let's just discuss the MCQs. So in MCQs also, there will be total six sections. First is KYT. KYT means know your TCS. Okay. What do you know about TCS, history, past projects, past achievements, past awards. So all these things. 
so how will you uh, learn about this know your how will you know about tcs so again in tcs explore there will be a course of kyt okay in tcs explore only there will be a course of kyt you will have to do that next is the business skills okay so business skills again are very much important as per once you join any company so again how will you prepare for your business skills again there will be a course of business skills in the tcs explore program so five questions for kyt five mcqs for business skills one mark each then there will be ui questions ui questions html css javascript not in detail but on the high level 10 questions will be there again a course you will find on the tcs explore next is a unix programming again 5 mcqs 5 marks will be there again you will find the course in the tcs explore only then there will be java mcqs that will be 15 java mcqs and again you uh, since you are now there is only java language you will have to prepare for the java only okay so out of 100 marks aim for 80 plus aim for 80 plus okay so java java mcqs will be there 15 questions 15 mcqs will be there then there will be some sql and pl sql question again this java and sql pl sql you can if you wish you can study from tcs explore courses but you can also like study from uh, youtube or somewhere else okay it's completely on you but this kyt biz skills ui and unix you won't find anywhere else you will have to study from tcs explore courses only this java and sql pl sql you can study from anywhere okay next this is was the 50 marks okay this was the 50 marks things next is the coding section so coding question per section also there will be two coding questions one of 15 mark one of 35 marks comprising of total 50 marks okay this first coding question will be very easy okay it's just like uh, if i give you the example so uh, is the string palindrome like this question easy question will be there not much of a logic will be required there just if you know the basic coding you will be able to do it okay just a second yeah and next question 35 i wouldn't say that it will be a complex question it won't be a complex question but it will be a lengthy question it will be a lengthy question okay so for the first question you like you, you should know the basic syntax of java and you will be able to do it but for the second question that is of 35 marks it will be a oops based question oops based question this is a 35 mark question so for oops based question you first have to know the inheritance okay inheritance inheritance in java use of static uh, use of static keywords i am talking about code perspective not theoretical okay theoretical i know you know that what is inheritance what is static keyword but practical while writing the code you should know the static keyword you should know the for loops okay you should know the arrays just a second you should know the arrays let me write it somewhere line by line so for 35 mark question it will be a lengthy question 35 marks what you should know you should know the oops concepts uh, oops concepts again i am telling a code wise not theoretical wise code wise oops concept in oops concept inheritance will play a important role code wise there will be a uh, method overloading that will be a playing a very important role code wise okay you should know about the for loops in java then you should know about the arrays in java and then you should know about the static keyword static keyword in java all the code wise nothing theoretical here because it is a 35 mark coding question end to end there will be 5 to 7 test cases that you will have to pass to get the 35 marks so these 6 7 concepts are very important for this ipa okay so if you will so what i i was thinking that once ip is announced by tcs currently date has not been announced for the ip just they have given the intimation about tcs explore once the date is announced of the ipa then what i am thinking is to take a mock test before the actual ipa so if you are interested for the giving mock test before the actual ipa you can write in the comment section that yes sir we are interested in it so i will be happy to take it but do remember that try to get 80 plus marks out of 100 marks in this ipa you will have you, this is the max you can get now to get 80 plus the majority see mcqs can be right or wrong okay mcqs can be right or wrong but you should focus on the coding part you should focus on the coding part 70 minutes you will be getting in the coding and two questions will be there one easy one complex i am not saying sorry not complex lengthy both the question 
logic wise will be easy but you should know the concepts and relevant syntax for it so 50 marks if you try to score in this coding then 30 out of 50 in this section of mcqs will become more achievable and you will be easily be able to score 80 plus so just tell me that if you are interested to give mock test before the actual test of ipa okay in a month or so then i will be happy to organize it for you you just have to write in the comment section that yes i want the mock test for the ipa so i hope i have discussed everything in detail i have discussed how to prepare for the ipa also so all these mcqs things you will have to see the uh, tcs explorer courses okay for it and the java programming you can like learn from anywhere open source it is up to you so i hope everything about ipa is clear to you if you still have any doubts do write in the comment section i will be happy to help and do join our telegram group because there are regular discussions that are happening on this telegram group regarding different different companies tcs explore also the discussion is happening here and i am actively seeing all the messages and replying to it so links you will find in the description box do join this particular telegram group thank you for watching this video